Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to How to Connect with Blood Aireth. Blood Aireth is the Welsh goddess of feminine sovereignty, of the night, of owls, of flowers and of feminine sensuality and sexuality. She is the wounded feminine that becomes the healed feminine. Her story is told to us in the fourth branch of the Mabinigion, an ancient text or texts from here in Wales. And she is a powerful goddess that can support you with reclaiming your feminine self, whether you are masculine or feminine or anything in between or both or. She can help you to reclaim that inner feminine any way that the feminine has been wounded. She can also help you to reconnect to your body, to your sexuality and your sexuality, to reclaim your value and your worth and all of these things, your body, your physical self as sacred. So healing all the ways that you have been made wrong. So here are my top three tips for connecting to her. My first tip is to connect to the owl. This is both her symbol and her sacred companion. And also it is the vehicle or the body into which she was transformed into as part of her punishment. Now the owl is the keeper of wisdom. It is the symbolic totem animal of the night, of the lunar and the death mysteries. And you can connect to all of those things through working with her in her owl form. So I invite you to bring the owl symbology into your space, maybe on your altar, but also in your ritual and your ceremony. I also have a suggestion, an idea for a ritual for you to specifically work with the owl. And this will be a ritual that you will conduct at night. So during the night, or if you're not happy yet, being out in the darkness at night time, you can go at dusk. You want to take yourself outside into dusk or the night time and there you're going to meditate. You're going to bring with you something that is connected to the owl. You may want to actually paint or create the image of an owl while you are out there in the dark or if not an owl, have the symbols of eyes, the eyes that see into the darkness, see into the shadow, see what is beyond what is known. Have them with you as you meditate and meditate upon the image of the owl, the idea of the owl or eyes and contemplate perception. So while you are there in the darkness, in silence, or perhaps you may want to play owl music or owl sounds, reflect on perception and reflect on all that you can see and all that you can't see, all that is, all that can be, all that have you have been told and that you have known and all that is yet to know or to discover. My second tip is to connect with flowers. She is known as Flower Face. She is the goddess of flowers. She was actually created from flowers as well, from oak, from broom and from meadowsweet. So you can bring those three flowers again into your space, so your altar, decoration, any rituals or ceremony. There are also two flower essences in particular that I believe connect to her and her energy and offer her healing and her wisdom. Flower essences are a high vivational remedy and um, that you take, that you ingest, and they are the essence or the soul of the plant. I'm going to read to you their particular energy and their healing so that you can really feel their vibration and connect to that and see whether this resonates for you or whether you want to take one or either of these. The first is fleabane. So fleabane heals the suppression of the feminine after it has been damaged, distorted or victimised. It will help you to heal trauma so that you can begin to actually choose who you are as a woman from your well of truth and not based on the violations of the past. So it's really powerful for anybody that has had their feminine self been attacked or made wrong I said, whether you're a male or a female it doesn't matter we all have that feminine within us um, an example of that is you know if you're told not to cry that is a suppression of the feminine energy the other flower essence is actually a tree it's oak and oak tree essence has a stabilizing effect when you find yourself whirling in the chaos of your own or collective trauma Oak essence will boost your inner strength and bring you to shore so you can anchor 
and build resiliency and become into a peaceful state. And I think they work really well together. So when you're working with that trauma of the feminine and healing, that any way the feminine has been wounded, the oak is going to support you and help you and anchor you and strengthen your roots while you're going through that. If you want to know more about flower essences at all, I am a flower essence practitioner and coach and you can reach out to me to ask more or for information about getting flower essences and having flower essence coaching. My third tip, I actually have some journaling prompts for you. Um, so these really journaling prompts are about reclaiming the sacred feminine. So you can journal these anytime, but you may, you may want to do this during your meditation in the night or when you're taking these flower essences. So these are going to help you to process that which is brought up through the flower essences and that which is healed when you're working with Bladeworth. So this is going to really kind of connect into her energy by reflecting on these. So I have three. I'm going to write them down beneath um, the video here as well. But just feel into them now and perhaps things will come up for you that you can reflect on and connect to. So the first journal prompt is where and how in your life have you been a victim of or damaged by the distortion, discrimination or suppression of the feminine? Second prompt, what would it mean for you to reclaim and liberate your feminine self? How could you actualize this? What do you need? And thirdly, Reflect on a time when you were reminded of your inner wisdom, a time when you just knew in your body, even when it perhaps defied logic or your mind. Write about perhaps a few instances where you knew and were guided by the signs and signals of your body. So perhaps you had a time where you had a warning perhaps or a signal from your body or you just knew something your body was telling you through the way that it felt you know perhaps locate where it was in your body and this is just going to remind you of the powerful wisdom of your body how it communicates with you how it supports you how it loves you how it honors you even pain signals are a message you know they are a signpost your body's talking to you all of the time, loving you and offering you its service and its support. So this is to bring you into your body, to reclaim it as right, to reclaim it as wise, to reclaim it as something that is sacred to you and something that helps you, support you, is your home. So I said, I'm going to pop them down below for you so you can um, reflect on them, meditate on them and work through them. And you can share your answers with me or any reflections that you have on any of this. And if you want to know more, please do just comment below or you can message me privately. I am a best-selling author of Goddess Mythology books and I'm going to pop the link below as well for all of my books so you can find out more about them and connect to me in that way and connect more to Goddess Mythology perhaps through my books or through my work come into our Facebook group my large community there where women share and men there's men and women in that group and in all of my works where all peoples of all genders <laughs> come together to celebrate and support each other and you can check out all of my work my courses teachings etc thank you so much for watching and i hope this supports you and guides you and offers you a pathway for working deeper and more with goddess bladeweth many many blessings Mwah. blessed be